Hello and welcome to our market alert video for today, which is November 10, 2023. And uh, I am Ken Moray. I'm the founder and CEO of Retirement Planners of America. And uh, our singular goal is to create as many squippers as we possibly can. And if you're wondering what a squipper is, Squipper is the acronym for Second Childhood Without Parental Supervision. So any client of ours that retires, we call them a squipper, and we want to create as many squippers as we possibly can. So our website is rpoa.com if you're interested in finding out more about us and maybe becoming a squipper yourself. So let's talk about the week that just ended. Wow. Um, Overall, the news continues to be relatively the same. There's the potential for another rate hike in December, but maybe not. And uh, the Fed could be done with rate hikes, maybe not. And so there's kind of that uh, tug of war going on. But on Thursday, um, we had a big down day and two primary reasons for that. One was Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, came out and told us, kids, read my lips. We may still raise interest rates if we need to, and we will do whatever it takes. So don't start thinking that we're done until we tell you so. And so that was one thing that was not well received. But there's another thing that was interesting and uh, kind of scary, actually, and that is that the uh, yesterday was all Thursday was also a day when we had this big giant auction where we sell our government bonds to the world. And that's how what we use to finance our debt and to finance our deficits and all the rest of it. Well, at the beginning of it, the selling was not going well. And it was surprising because normally we sell out of everything. Well, guess what happened? Apparently some hackers broke into the biggest bank in China, which is the one that buys the, a lot of the treasuries from us for the Chinese, was hacked. And those hackers essentially froze their trading desk. It was ransomware. And so they couldn't trade. They could not buy our treasuries. So it appeared that the sale was not going well. And people got scared. Wow, the world doesn't want to buy our bonds. That can't be. They always do. They always finance our debt. They love us. And uh, there was a certain question about that. And that caused uh, the combination of those two was uh, essentially what happened yesterday as we see it. So going forward, where do we go from here? Well, we continue to believe, as we have said, that the second half of this year was going to see inflation rise. We have five weeks to go before the next Federal Reserve announcement, December 13th. And between then, we have two important data points that are going to be coming out, which are the inflation prints. Uh, for on November 14th and December 12th, they're going to tell us what the inflation was in October and November, respectively. And uh, those data will tell the Fed, you know, what they should do with interest rates. Our view is that inflation will rise a little bit. Uh, right now, it's at 3.7. We think it might get over 4% before the end of this year. Um, but we don't think it's going to be a significant enough issue to warrant the Federal Reserve continuing on its path of raising interest rates on a, in a dramatic way. So because of that, we continue to be bullish. We said that we would see a rally, and boy, howdy, have we seen that. We did say that we'd uh, see a correction when inflation started to rise after the June lows of inflation, and we saw that. Um, and we also, at uh, the beginning of the year, told you that we thought that there would be a rally because inflation was coming down into June, and we saw that too. So going forward, we believe that uh, the bond, mar the uh, stock market is still a good place to be. Now, on the bond side, as you guys who've been watching this video know, we've been out of bonds since April of 2022 because we didn't like what we saw. And sure enough, the bond market has had the worst bear market, according to Bloomberg, since 1787. 1787. So thankfully, we haven't been in that and haven't experienced the losses that that's uh, brought with it. However, if the Fed is coming to the end of their rate increasing cycle, then bonds are starting to look a lot more attractive. And uh, we are looking to next year to be one of the best years that bonds have ever had, which is going to be remarkable to say that because we're talking about treasuries, the safest investment in the world. It shouldn't be moving like this, but it has been. So we're not ready to go in yet. We still want to wait for these two data points that I mentioned. We want to wait for the Federal Reserve uh, to tell us what they're going to do in December. But after that, we'll be looking at uh, 
where do we go from here with our bond allocation? Currently, we are in money market fund, which is paying over 5%, so we're getting paid to wait, and that's fine with us. Now, even though we are optimistic about the stock market, we still think that you should always have a sell strategy. You shouldn't just buy and hold. Our strategy said to sell in November of 2007, and of course, you guys know what happened in 2008. And uh, more recently, in uh, 2022, it told us to sell in April. And of course, the, the stock market went down significantly for the rest of that year. So our goal is what we tell, we have an investment principle. Our primary philosophy when it comes to managing money for our clients is growth is important, but protection of principle is even more important. And since we work with people who are over 50, who are retired or retiring soon, if that's you, I think you understand what I'm talking about, right? We're not here to make you rich quick. We're here to keep you from becoming poor. And therefore, protection of principle, we believe, is job number one. So if that all resonates with you, please visit with us. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you. And uh, we'll talk soon.